YouTube and welcome to another Silent Stormer Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. First of all, I'd like to say thanks for sticking with me and I'd like to explain where I've been. I was on vacation for two or three weeks, just kind of away and haven't had enough time to make videos, but I'm back now. I'm going to be making them a couple times a week, just like normal. And anyways, let's move on to the video details. We are playing on Payload Hoodoo, and we are on the defensive side of this, and if you can't tell, I am using the Medic class, that's a first for my channel, never uploaded a Medic gameplay before, and I'm using the Crusader's Crossbow, the Quick Fix, and the Uber Saw. So, some people are already like, wow, that's a pretty weird loadout silent, because who likes the Quick Fix? Nobody. So I'm just gonna, before I get into the whole Quick Fix topic, I think I'm gonna get into a couple things that were changed in the Meet the Pyro, um, slash Pyroland, slash Pyromania update. Um, both the Crusader's Crossbow and the Quick Fix received buffs, so I'll start off with the Crusader's Crossbow. Um, before, it was still a pretty interesting weapon, but it just wasn't up to snuff with stuff like the Blutsauger, or the, even the default, uh, syringe gun. Anyways, the reload speed is now 40% faster, so you can see when I fire it there, it just lo reloads insanely, insanely fast. Um, so as you guys may or may not know, you can both shoot teammates or, uh, uh, <laughs> or enemies, and for teammates they'll heal them, for enemies they'll do deal damage, obviously, and that's a pretty good weapon. I like that weapon a lot. Uh, it's probably my favorite medic primary at the time, just because I think it takes a little bit more skill, and it's a little bit more versatile than things like the Blutsauger, even though the Blutsauger might be the best for getting kills as medic, which is not really the ultimate goal. Anyway, the quick fix also received a buff. Um, before, it did heal quicker, you couldn't overheal, etc., etc., you've all heard the specs. What they did to change it was, now you rocket jump with the people you're hearing. And, just really quickly, I want to apologize for the HUD problems, at least in the first life of this video. I don't know what happened to the during the recording. Um, it just, you can't see my health, you can't see anything that's in my clip, and you, and, uh, you are now attacking is now stuck on top of the screen, even though I'm not attacking, I'm defending. I promise that's just for this life. The next time I die, it changes back to a normal HUD, so hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys too much. You guys have probably been, like, glaring at that for the entirety of the video so far. But anyways, um, I'm gonna talk about the quick fix for a little while, because basically ever since its inception, I mean, use the term inception, um, it's been regarded as the crappy medigun. The medigun that people who don't know what they're doing use and honestly, even before they buffed it, it's I I still wouldn't I still wouldn't say that that, that was true because honestly, I'm not saying it's the best medigun. It's the medigun you should use all the time. Nothing like that. I'm just saying that it is an actually really good medigun, and I'll give you a couple of reasons. First, as you can see, I just popped it right there, and those people were retreating. There were a couple of them, and they were still under fire. And if I hadn't been able to take them out or if I hadn't been able to heal them, they might have been taken out by enemies. Now, that may seem like a very situational thing, and trust me, it is. It's a pretty situational thing, but the thing is, unlike other Ubers, which are also situational, like the Crit, like the Crit, like the Crit Krieg, or the default Uber, it doesn't matter if you screw up. One, because people still think you're a noob anyways, and two, it builds so quickly that you can just, you can have it charged up in another minute or so, just like, you charge one up, bam, there it goes. You, you popped it, you healed some people up that might have died. Okay, cool. You save those people. No one really cares, but that's all right, because they're not dead. If they were dead, they would care. Now, the thing is, most people don't really seem to realize that... I mean, like, this is insanely good for pushes. Like, I've had a time where I've had, like, three soldiers, a demo man, and a heavy, and they're all just kind of hanging back, hovering around, they're spamming out the door, they're, they're, they're waiting to push. And the thing is, if you tell them over the mic, or if you tell them in chat, okay, get ready, let's go, you can pop that quick fix, and you can have, it increases healing by, I think, 400% or 300% or something insane like that, where you can just be clicking on each of them every once in a while, and getting them healed up, just like, bang, bang, bang. This one needs health, bang, he's up to, he's up to full health. It doesn't matter, it's like, they're all the way back up to their full health in no time at all, and here's a spy, I'm gonna get this spy, I tried to warn the engineer, and... Nope, they got backstabbed. Oh, well, I still was able to take them out with my Ubersaw. So, I mean, it's it's a really 
I would say it's no, it's not as good for things against sentries, it's not as good against really well protected environments, but just for making a push on a cart, or just for healing everyone up after a big push, or just, if there are a whole bunch of people around who need heals, you can just pop that and click on everyone real quick. Say you just made a big push onto a point, say you're on five courts, and you just made a big push onto mid, and you've just capped the point, but you can you know that they're coming back, and you know that your team's really wounded, and there's only one or two medics around. You can pop that quick fix and have everyone healed up around around you in almost instantly, which is really, really good. People don't think about this, but it's it's a really good medi it's a really good medi gun. It's a good medi gun not just for people who don't have the skill required to do the other medi guns, which I I mean I've done the other medi guns sometimes, but this is by far I think my favorite medi gun so far. I mean I just really like being able to use this as opposed to the other ones, just because there's not as much pressure, it's not as it's not as situational, and there's not as big of a deal if you mess it up. If you pop it on someone, they're not gonna be like, Oh you, oh well, you you quick fixed me, who cares? Now, I think that was actually a spy and I'm I miss, and I'm like, oh, well, he, he, I, I spy checked him. But, either way, um, back to the quick fix. I just think it's a terrific medigun, and it's super, it's got so much hate in the community. I, I don't think it deserved it from day one, and it definitely doesn't deserve it now. If you are looking to have a quick rollout, just latch onto a scout, and then the scout will rip, will whip you up to the front lines really quickly where you can begin to heal your other teammates. If you want to get up there even quicker, get a, get a soldier or a demo man, have them sticky jump or rocket jump because this thing now lets you rocket jump with them. Like they'll jump and you'll jump with them. Like you'll be hoisted up into the air. It's kind of awesome. And while I'm not totally used to it yet, and it's a little bit difficult to, like, maneuver yourself as a medic, I mean, you're not expecting it at all, it's a really cool thing. And, oh, uh, there goes the first life, so you're gonna probably see, um, the HUD will go back to normal now. Hooray! Anyways, so, that's just my little spiel on the quick fix. Other than that, um, I thank you guys for sticking with me through all these inconsistent months, through which I have been just <laughs> not really being a very consistent person like throughout the whole I guess community of YouTube and I'm sorry for that but I mean I had school and now I have the summertime and it's just all kinds of stuff that I really don't <laughs> I don't deal with on a usual basis it's just all kinds of random stuff and honestly thank you guys so much for staying with me and thank you so much for spreading the word of my channel with your friends and such and Really, if you could keep doing any more of that, I'm not saying go out there and like go super Nazi mega. I'm gonna promote this on everything ever. Here's a spy. Let me take him down. Bam, he's dead. Um, just like if you can share him to any, if you can share me and my channel, not the spy. I don't share the spy to anyone who you think like would enjoy it. Then please go ahead, do so. I mean, like I, that certainly helps me out, and that's just something that I have been working on doing is just kind of spreading the word about my channel. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. It's nowhere near done, as you can see, but I'm just going to go back into something about the Pyro update. You probably, some of you have wondered why there was no Day 3. Well, I did two days of Pyro update coverage, and then the third day had some spoilers. And if you honestly haven't seen the Meet the Pyro up till now, then I'm sorry, but you are very behind. In other words, he goes into a rainbow land full of lollipops and stuff, and it's... It's a really, it's, some people didn't like it, I really liked the video, I think Valve did an absolute knockout job on that, so, um, just, <laughs> congrats to Valve for just pretty much nailing it in my book. But anyways, I'm sorry I didn't do that coverage, because some people hadn't seen it, and I didn't want to spoil it for them, because the, the page with the update news that day was all themed in this rainbowy land, and if you hadn't seen the update video, you would have been like, why are there rainbows everywhere? <laughs> so, I'm sorry for not doing that, and I will be covering some of the other update items. I have the soldier item I'm going to be going over, which is the beggar's bazooka. I've already done a little bit of a scout video. I'm going to be doing more um, scout coverage soon. And the sniper, I did get the cleaner's carbine, although I don't think it warrants a need, because it's not a huge weapon that's super important. Anyway, here's a spy. I'm going to get another one of him. Killed lots of spies in this video kind of weird that a medic killed most of the spies. Well, not most of but the medic killed lots of spies. So as you can see here, there are lots of people getting hurt. And while I couldn't save some of these people, oh, I hate when this happens. You dive right for the health. No! And you, like, collapse onto the health pack <laughs> once you're dead. So, I mean, I hate when that happens. I bet you guys do, too. So as you can see, we've been holding this point for a little while now. Only a minute and a half left on the clock. And I don't know. I mean, like, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. <laughs> 
I talked about things a lot faster than I thought I would, which is just kind of a normal occurrence because I talk really quickly. But anyways, I encourage you guys to leave your comments down below what you guys think about my videos, what you would like to see on my channel next, because, oh, I think I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a Counter-Strike Source video very soon because I've gotten so much better at that game. I've almost won a gun game. I'm so close to winning the gun game. It's like, I've come to the point where I'm down to the final knife, and the other person's down to the final knife, and it's like, oh, is that good? Oh, it's over. And so, I am just absolutely going nuts trying to win my first gun game. And don't worry, I'm recording all of it. So, if I do indeed get that gun game win, you guys will see it probably till, like the next day, because I'm going to be super hyped up to make that commentary. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And also, um, just going to give a quick shout out to my friend Chidiac Films. The link will be in the description to his channel. He makes kind of action-y stuff. Just getting started, so if you guys can go over there and show him your support, that'd be great. A little shout out there. Thanks um, all for watching, and here they come. They're pushing in. Mission ends. 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Are we going to get it? Oh, is it going to go into overtime? What's going on? Oh, it's overtime. Oh, no. We push up. I'm healing everybody with my quick fix. Just getting everyone healed up all at once, and we win the match. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.